Good morning, everyone. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and we're doing episode 12 of Using Up Your Book Pages. And today we are using two book pages for each project, and these I'm calling Stackable Pockets. I'll give you a little tour here. Very easy. Anybody can make these, and you can blow through your book pages like nobody's business. Here's a different style. Oh, hang on. And we're back. Okay, so this is a second style. Same two book pages, and I'm going to show you how to make uh, both versions of this. Um, okay, so this one I went ahead and I stuffed it with things already so you can get an idea, and this one is obviously unstuffed, so you can see what it looks like unstuffed. And this one, I just want to add that what I... Oh, okay, I'll just walk you through it. It's easy enough. This is a very simple project. Anybody can do it. And I'm just going to use uh, the two, the same book, <laughs> two pages from this book. Um, and what makes this first step a little bit easier, if you want all your pockets to be the same width, is you take your two book pages and you fold them together at the same time. So let's see, that doesn't really matter. Let's just go like this. And we're making basically a little tube. Get a little more grabbing paper there. Okay, so you have that and you've got your little tube. And I shoot for about three, three little pockets in length out of one book page. Um, you can do as many or as few as you want. It completely depends on you and how uh, long your page is. Okay, so I'm going to use the first one as a little template. And that's going to give me approximately the same length. The width is more important than the length if you want it uniform. And I'll show you what you, if you can do if they're not uniform uh, in length, in uh, width, because I discovered that <laughs> as I was making one of them. Um, and I'll show you that on the second one. But okay. Yep. Okay. So I'm not going to use this piece. I could. Could I? Oh, yes. I'm, I'm just going to use three to give you an idea. All right. Now that one wasn't very straight, but that's okay because it's going to be hidden. So basically, you want the top straightish. Um, that'll give you the best result. And then um, I like to use one of these little one inch circle punches. And we just go along and we punch out some little finger tab pull areas indicating it is a pocket to the person looking at the journal. Okay. White space is not a bad thing because you can use it to decorate and have uh, things pop out as you're decorating. So I would recommend don't, don't be cutting off your white space. Um, or, or you can, but I mean, just try it without and see what you think. Okay. So pulling them all apart and that gives me six total. Okay. So now all we're going to do is glue down their backs and this will seal up the little pockets. And this is just one little, remember less is more when it comes to the glue, less is more. <laughs> okay. And then we'll just put these in a little pile and I'll just, and through the magic of TV, we have these all sealed with glue. And now I'm going to ink one up and I like to cut the little divot first so that when you come around, you can ink that as well. It shows up nicely. Another little difference between this one and the first one I made is this is a white book page and these were cream colored book pages. So you can see the difference in what that will look like. Okay. So hang on and voila, we're inked. Okay. So only one of them needs to be inked on the bottom because the rest will not show. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack them together. So I find that the easiest way to do this is to glue on the back one. And can you see me? Okay. All right, just a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. And I don't glue the bottom and I'll show you why in a sec. Okay. And the only other thing you want to keep in mind is how tall your uh, journal pages are. Mine are on average six inch or nine inches tall. So I want to keep my pockets shorter than nine inches. You could go taller than that and have them uh, stick out a little bit, which is another look. Um, although I like to keep these all neat and tidy inside because um, I might stick something in the top pocket and that might stick out a bit. And maybe that's what I want to peek out. All right. So we will just put the glue down here. Oh, yeah, and my neighbor is now trimming his palms outside. Perfect timing, Alan. That's okay. We like Alan. He's nice. Gotta have good neighbors, right? It makes all the world of a difference. Okay. 
Oh, I'm always a little worried about them. He climbs way up in his palm trees on this giant ladder, and I'm always waiting for a big thud. <laughs> but so far, no big thud. He has... Oh, yeah. I hope you guys can't hear that. Okay. All right. So here we go, and we have our little uh, ladder. And um, so what I was saying about the length, it doesn't matter because you can adjust them so they look like they're all the same length if they're not exactly the same length. Um, um, or even leave them a little off for more visual interest. Entirely up to you. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I'm hoping you can't hear that buzzsaw because he's right outside my window cutting his palm tree. And I've got my mic on, so I'm hoping that's all you hear. Okay. Um, all right, so there we go. And the reason why I don't glue the backs is because I may want to stick something in longer than what the actual visual pocket is. So if I decide to stick something in here, I can stick it down to the height I want so I can show as much as I want. And it yes, it does stick out back here, but this is going to be glued down to my page as so on either side. So you won't know. You won't know those are sticking out. That's a little secret. Okay. Now another thing you can do is if you're worried about it falling through, you can just clip a little um, piece of ribbon or something on here or staple it so it's not going to go down further. But um, these tend to be quite flush and tight, so slippage isn't a big concern. Okay, so now let's decorate this little puppy up and have some fun with it. All right, what are we going to do to you? Oh, actually, let me show you the construction of the other one. And then we'll just decorate them both up. Okay, the, the, the only difference between this style and this style is that I turned the book pages sideways because I wanted wider book pages. So I've got my same two book pages. And here comes the magic. Oh my God, look at that. There we go. There's the rocket science. So instead of folding like this, we're going to fold like this. Okay, so we got two book pages together. And we're just going to do a random size. You know me, no measuring. Yeah, using the finger tool as my bone folder. You can use a bone folder too. It gives you nicer creases. Fingernail creases work nice too. Okay, so there we have that. And I can usually, I would say, get about two out of here, um, which is technically four because I've got two book pages. There we go. So tap them down. Okay, which ones do I want on top? I want the white showing on top. And uh, let me see if I can punch through four pages with this. Probably not, but oh yeah, look at that. All right, anything that removes a step is awesome. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that. I did that one a little high. I usually want to shoot to about the halfway point of your uh, circle to get the nicest thumb cut. Okay, so we've got four of these. So now I'm gonna glue them up like I did before. I'll show you one and then I'll go and magically do all the rest. Oop, one. Okay, and and voila, we have these all glued together. So now I'm just going to decorate one up. I think I'm going to use blue this time. Haven't used blue in a while. Where's my little thingy? Here it is. So I will ink one up and then I will magically do the rest through the magic of the pause button. Oh, I'm doing the wrong side. Sorry. Yeah, make sure you ink the side that you're going to be showing. Oh, more ink there. Doop, 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 doop. And we'll make this the bottom one. There we go. Okay. Voila, and we're back, all inked. So I've got a little variety pack here of different ink colors. I'm using Distress Oxides from Ranger, I think, and uh, Walnut and uh, Faded Jeans. And let's go ahead and pop these together. Just down the sides. If you want, you know, if you're worried about it falling out the very bottom one, you could put like a little dab of glue right there and that's gonna just prevent anything from coming out the bottom. And, okay, we got those two. Let's get them straight. Okay. And here, and here, and up we go. Easy peasy, totally breezy. He's coming down the ladder now, so hopefully it'll get quieter. <laughs> okay. All right. And no thud. Way to go, Alan. All right. Mush. Mush. Glue it here. Glue it here. Remove a little strange item. And there we go. So we have this guy. 
and we have this guy. And uh, so we're ready to decorate, so let's have some fun decorating. All right, so the first one, I thought I'd keep it super, super simple. Simple pimple, as we used to say. And I'm just gonna use this little butterfly stamp on here. You can't see it, but it is there. And I'm just gonna... Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Go away, little odd thing. Okay. So I'm going to put you here. There we go. He made a cute little stamp. And I have this hanging around. It kind of, honestly, it blew in my front door. So you know what? We're just going to put it on here because, because we can. Yeah. Yeah. And we're just, we're feeling wild and crazy. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put it on this way because it is tending to curl down a little bit. I probably should have used the Fabri-Tac. That's a better glue for this. All right, so there we go. You know, you gotta use what is available at the moment. And sometimes it blows in the front door. Okay, are we stuck? I think we're stuck, okay. And what else was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I thought I'd put a number on this one, just for fun, say we did. There, 17, that means something to somebody somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> and just to decorate up the sides a little bit, I'm going to put this little stamp. It's a little like flowery stamp. And that's where your white space comes in handy because it helps show the, uh, the d d design. And uh, I think I'm going to do both sides on this one. This is very simple. Any little stamp will do. You could even use the end of a pencil to make your little stamps. All right, let's try that. Yeah, look at that. Just invented a circle stamp. Look at that, on the fly, no less. Okay, there we go, how about that? Using what you got. Okay, so we'll call you done and then we'll just decorate you up real quick because you're just adorable. And what were we gonna do with you? Oh yeah, I had big plans for you. Okay, so I have some of these uh, clusters and uh, I think they're called Jessica Wrap Clusters because uh, she created these things with her sheer brilliance and uh, now the rest of us are making them like nobody's business. <clears throat> okay, so here, notice the large font, small font contrast. Notice the vanilla and the cream contrasting with the white. Um, I just think it gives visual interest and we glue it down. All right. All right slap that little puppy on there. Okay, give you a nice angle. It's okay if it hangs over a little bit. That's kind of neat, I think. Okay, and what else were we gonna play with on you? Okay, so I have a fat lace, fabric, other book pages. Um, oh, this is kind of an odd thing I thought of using. Um, there's these tiny little, you know these things? Safety pins and garment pins. You can actually use them for decor as opposed to always hanging something from them. Now you could hang something from them, of course, but uh, I think maybe we'll just play with these and see what we got going here. All right. Just for something different, say we did. And uh, so you wanna get something that's sort of flat. Okay, you're sort of flat. Okay. Uh, let's maybe use the fabric jack for this one. And, whoop. okay, now well, I'm going to put a little fabri -tac down. Then I'm going to take that fabri -tac and I'm going to share it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Here's the share tool, also known as the finger tool. Okay, we need a little more there. Then we got to get them on fast before it dries. Okay, one, whoop. sit down flat, two, oh. Oh, you need a little more, I know. I know, I'll get you more, don't worry. Okay, three and four. You ever have those little tidbits that you never know what to do with? Well, these little safety pins were one of those, so here I go. Sticking you down. Are you sticking? Yeah, you're sticking. Okay, so we have that, and let's just finish it off with a little more pizzazz and excitement. I've got some complimentary colors of this stuff. Liquid Pearls and Nuovo, uh, little doodots. And uh, now what's our all important rule? We don't touch it after we finish with this. Okay. So I'm gonna try and use different colors here. Maybe, whoop, yep, that's how it goes. All right. 
This is like my favorite stuff and it's also my nemesis. I don't know why. It always just gives me a hard time. All right, and then you, you can literally just have fun with this stuff if you put it anywhere. Um, maybe we're gonna try blue on the brown one just for some contrast. And, uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's go with the green. We'll just do the green and blue alternating because that's nice. That sort of brings out the uh, colors of what we have. When you're not hurrying, you can go in a straight line. But you know, the charm of the non-straight line is the handmade appeal. Look at that. It's got its beautiful imperfections. Okay. And there we go. So let's just give you a little close-ups here. This little guy. You see him good? Yeah, he's got his little pockets. Okay, don't touch that one. <laughs> and this one, ready to go. Oh, I know what I want to show you. One quick little thing about this guy, just because I have it pre-cut, and then I have this guy. Okay. Uh, you can also use this as a belly band. So if you cut out a piece of uh, cardstock or paper that is similar to this, you just run your glue down here, you run your glue down here, you stick this back on there, and then when you slip things under, you now as the belly band, you're only gonna glue it across the top and the bottom and then adhere it to your page, but then it's not gonna get stuck on these little things that stick out, you know, if you tuck things back there. So you can make belly bands as well. So there you go, guys. Um, hope you like them, and um, it was happy uh, crafting today with you. I, um, please like and subscribe. I've got three journals in my thingy, uh, Etsy, and we've got the contest running. Um, 300 subscribers. Looks like we're almost going to make 500 subscribers before the 300 one is out. So thank you for everybody. You guys are awesome. You did that, not me. That's all you. And uh, uh, what else? I appreciate you sharing um, and um, happy crafting. That's it. So um, take care, everyone. Bye.